Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn me love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And watch my right corner just run off and leave this um, wheel route wide open. And this, I think there's a glitch to this game with this deep, with your deep blues. And we're, we're going to talk stationary routes eventually. But I just want something I want to show because somebody asked me a question. Same thing, post, wheel. And the deep blue just, it, it just absolutely wigs out. That's what DDA is for the guy who asked, who inboxed me, asked me that question. I, I feel like that's DDA. That's a, yeah. Because they do play the deep blues normal, you know, when they do. That right there, I would consider that DDA. Now, one thing I do want them to address with the patch, these little stupid drops that I'm getting, you make it, I, I'm not catching this with one hand. I don't know why they're going for one-handed catches for which they're just dropping it. And that's why I kind of was skeptical of that in the beginning. Anything that EA controls or the game controls, man, it, it, it's, yeah, it's subject to this nonsense right here. And so, yeah, this is my world. This is what I live with game after game. <laughs> I just, you know, it's crazy stuff like this. Watch this ball go out of bounds. Yeah, out of bounds, right? Now watch this. Watch the ref come look at it. <laughs> Man, EA boy, watch but watch the stick just freeze. Uh, full battery, just yeah, just some sort of little pause or I don't I don't know what that was. Um, even when you have the ball, like just to prevent you from getting the first down. Yeah. Yeah, it's, this this game is is uh, I'm telling y'all, man, this game is whacked out. But you know, sometimes you may get lucky. Like on that case right there, the ball hit the back of the foot. That was a wild. That was wild. That's one. Of the, that's the wildest catch I've seen uh, this year by far, at least for me. Um, but what I did want to talk about today a little bit was I want to talk about like. Now that we have revamp back in back in the in the fold, well, in the fold for Madden, I just, you know, try to get an understanding of start to high ball, throw, throw high passes. And you'll, you what you'll figure out with revamp is you can throw high passes, but you still can. It, it just gives you a better control of the trajectory. You can you can throw lower, higher, low, <laughs> low, high passes. Right. You know, passes where what you want is the small jump. You don't want the super big animation jump all the time. You want, you know, the quick jumps, the ones where they get up and get down and give them a chance to secure the ball. Do not forget your strong hands. I know I put out a lot of stuff over the years, but strong hands is still important. What strong hands is, fellas, is whatever catch icon you decide to end up on, whether it's secure, uh, rack, or aggressive, you need to hold that until the ground especially when there are potential um when there's potential for contact or you know in a contested catch situation if you think you're going to get hit think you're going to take a, a you know a knockout or whatever you gotta hold that catch button whether it's secure rack or aggressive at least for the you know until he gets to the ground in most cases uh, i use it more in secure catching you know because i know i'm going to get hit or i think i'm going to get hit i use it more in secure catching than anything um, aggressive catch. I mean, it, like I said, it works with all three, but I just think with the secure catch, it just has a, it just has more benefit because it gets you to the ground faster again. So secure catch, just kind of hold the button or whatever until you feel yourself going down. Now let's get into the gist of the video, which is the curl routes. I, I stationary routes. I see a lot of people now, you know, people are, are starting to I ain't even gonna say catch on, but a lot of people are starting to catch on to this stuff. Um, you know, utilizing the stationary routes with the high passes or whatnot. Um, even like 
you can make some of these dig routes or some of these routes, you can make them stationary by how you throw them. Now, my favorite, what I call stationary routes are my comebacks and curls, of course. They're the most efficient. Um, to me, they're the most efficient routes on the game, probably aside from the drag route. I mean, drag route is obviously the easiest route in the world to throw. But, you know, when you get to the comeback, if if you can time it out, especially I throw a lot of high ball comebacks. Actually, I've been doing that for years. Um, when you throw the high ball with the comeback, it it, it kind of throws the defender off, especially if there's an underneath defender um, getting the ball over that guy. For some reason, if you know, if you can get the right trajectory, especially now with revamp, revamp is built for this like to throw these types of passes. This is what revamp is all about, getting the ball over an underneath defender, but not letting it hang in the air too long so that, you know, you go into the, you drift off into the next zone or the, the next guy over the top of you is able to it, come down and, and yeah, knock the ball out or whatever. But anyway, yeah, so curls are, for years, I've been telling people about the curl route. I, I It's just crazy to me that more people don't take advantage of it um yeah you heard it you've been hearing it here for what going on five years now four or five years however long i've been doing this because I, I think i started out like in one of my first videos talking about comebacks and curl routes actually the hidden secrets of possession catching was a video basically about mostly curl routes and comeback routes and so you know this is something i've been doing forever but Again, on this game in particular, because you have to, you have to like value the football. You have to value possessions on this game, because, you know, because so much crazy stuff happens and, and those turnovers are, yeah, those are game altering like turnovers, especially the ones that you can control. And so for me, some of the more safer routes that don't get picked are my curl routes, especially if I have to stem them out a little bit, you know, 18 yards is, um, 18 yards is perfect. If you can kind of figure out 18 yards on the stem from the top of the stem, you know, from the bottom of the route to the top of the stem, if you can get it to 18 yards or someplace close to that and figure out the timing to which to throw it, especially with the high ball, man, I'm telling you, man, that, that it is very hard to stop. And especially for a lot of these zones, because a lot of guys are not going to play their hook curls at 18 yards or at 20 yards or at 15 yards that that's like suicide on this game um if you're out there trying to play your your uh, hook curls on defense you know at 18 yards now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this prediction because i feel like this is coming they are going to eventually have to alter the way that zone drops are done you know, either we're going to be able to customize or they're going to give us a, a greater uh, range of yardage or they're going to actually allow us to probably customize or stem defensive hot routes. Yeah, I, I can see it happening. Easy as day. That that probably would, would be the best answer so that then you can pick the guy you want to extend and not have to. It's, it's just not a universal thing. And see, that's pro part of the problem with the reason why the defense is so bad and the zones are so bad on this game is because, like, what you do for one, you basically have to kind of do for all who are ever in that particular um, position group or whatever. You know, the guy who whoever has the assignment or whatever. And so, yeah, I think that custom, you know, being able to custom stem your defensive adjustments you know would be like a really 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 good thing for the game but who knows like i said I, I say all this stuff years in advance and then it happens and yeah the people just act like it's just such a great idea and i go hey man i said that years ago but anyway i just stopped talking um again comeback routes the main thing is to always be able to identify the defense so you see right there as i motion out the tight end you see the corner and the safety or the linebacker, or whoever that was uh, on the other team, you see them flip assignments. You have to understand how to identify the coverage. Um, you know, if they don't move, it's probably a zone. I'm not going to say that it definitely is, but if they don't move, it's probably a zone. Now, the bad thing about Madden is if they're in zone, so let's say they're in zone 
excuse me, uh, you motion out, they're already in a zone. If they switch up to a man to man, then chances are those two guys are going to flip flop back to whatever it is. And so that's just like a dead giveaway. It's just one thing about Madden. There's so many tells in so many different situations that you can just you can figure out what the coverage is for the most part, um, especially in terms of just man or zone. Um, all the other stuff. Yeah. You know, those are adjustments that people make. And so those are just things that you probably would have to look out for. But if you can figure out what the base part of the coverage is, then you should be good. You know, you should be able to throw these uh, curl routes. Like I said, anywhere 18, uh, 18 yards to me is the best one, because I think sometimes if you drift over 18, you get too close to the safety and it allows the safety to make a, a better break on the ball. Like on that one, that was over 18 yards. And so you see the safety is able to come up and actually match it a little bit better um, when it's over 18. Anyway, man, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. It's your boy, Coach. <laughs>